rather other friends so uh, i actually was reading through one of the sadhus uh, work and uh, it is so laser focused about uh, knowledge how it is gained and uh, nowhere in the textbook or the human resource book or any other book on uh, you know human behavior or how to gain knowledge has been so much you know elaborated uh, in that focused manner that the sadhus have done he saying you know knowledge is based on perception and inference like perception is again through your five senses like if i touch this i know this is hot or cold so it is comes to a knowledge it is hot okay uh, perception through my eyes you know i can see the water so i know there is water i can see uh, towels so i know it is towel and that comes into my knowledge because then in my knowledge base is occurred okay from my eyes i've seen all these things so i know what it is that's the knowledge i have okay so that is the you know knowledge you are getting gaining from your five senses through perception and uh, the inner perception that they're talking about as well that's called uh, again intuition what they say that you know that you know i have an intuition some people are intuitive that you know this is because that intuition is based upon nothing but uh, you know it's not black magic or something like this is going to happen or this is not going to happen is based upon uh, intuition is again based upon your analysis you know how your mind is you know analyzing people or people's behavior and that and that and then that comes as an intuition that yet yeah, this guy is going to do this this female is going to do this okay so that again that internal perception you are having in your mind because of different anal- an analytic capability of a person you know is through which you can gain the knowledge that this will happen that will happen this action will happen so you know it's like such a beautifully explained nobody here nobody shitty not even enough all these years not even one uh, european scientist has you know explained this better than the sadhus and then again they also say that you know it is called by inference knowledge comes by inference i can't see the air but you know the air i can feel that there is air if when it blows its air so i know there's something there that's the inference and through this inference today on uh, you know navratra you know i got this that you know that uh, i just uh, it's just like it comes to you you know it's you going and uh, we've got this uh, mata ji over here uh, shitla mata and you know i was just going i just had a uh, you know in the morning i just saw the and then you know and then i saw that you know that in life you know there is the only one that brings people alive is a female and uh, you know just like a man is you know if i need food or if i need something to eat or to you know uh, for my basic five needs you know then you know you have to light the fire and then you have to cook more or less or you know that the heat or the energy provided by the sun you know uh, again it is the energy you know that through which my needs are basic needs are satisfied okay and then you look at the female and then the female they you know in hinduism they worship as the shakti why is she the shakti and uh, this came to me today that you know she is the one that she is the source that will control the house she is the control she is the one who is going to give birth to your children if you are married i'm not married and uh, she is the one you know who will be bringing up and a major part of your life as well so isn't she the one that is powerful <laughs>
and so like then they say oh you know shakti ma, ma shakti you know this so that is why the power is with the female because she is the source of uh the female is the source of why i am being here oh, such a beautiful explanation and you know it's not been explained by anybody i don't think so